Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, Kedium Networks Incorporation and Pitchfork 2 analysis. Kedium Networks Incorporation and Pitchfork 2 analysis. All right. So here I'm using uh, the most neglected uh, trading tool, the Andrews uh, Pitchfork 2. And uh, we need a uh, three point to draw the P for two. This is the first point here. Uh, the second point. So price went up from point A to point B, and then uh, pull back without uh, going to the beginning. So one, two, three. With those three points, now we can apply P for two, and the P for two is determining okay the the path, the possible path. Of the bullish trend so if this bullish trend is healthy uh, the price should stay within the boundaries of the pitfall tool here it is is out of the pitfall tool in fact what is happening here the price came out of the pitfall tool and was trying to retest the pitfall tool so also yesterday I recorded a video uh, that are titled how uh, to use uh, the CCI period 30 like gold, 30, 30, 30 like gold. And in that video, I was telling Trader that when the CCI 30 is below the zero line, as it is here, we are looking for break below, retest. So the price break below the P for 2 and was trying to retest the P for 2. Therefore, this is uh, a bearish okay, trading setup. The next step for us is to implement okay, a, a top-down trading method okay, to sell. All right? So here it is. This is uh, a bearish trading setup. As you can see, a lot of uh, uh, bearish traders are responding and are selling the stock okay there's a bit of distortion here all right so this is what we are talking about let's go back again to the monthly chart talking about uh, kvm networks incorporation and p for two analysis all right so here it is with the first pitch for two that this is what is happening here i'm going to remove uh, that uh, pitch for two and uh, I will draw a new one, okay? Attention, please, traders. Okay. I'm going to remove that one. And I'm going to use another three point. This time, I will use three different points. This is my first point here. So price going now from point A to point B. This is my second point here. And then the price uh, pulls back to point C. With those uh, one, two, three point we can use the p for two here it is we use we put the media line this is the media line of the p for two at the first point and we just put the other one to those two lines now we have a new p for two let's put a different color here i will use a, a red this time and you can see by putting the p for two for those uh, three points we, are, we can see that the price breaks below the media line of the pitch for two and it's also retesting here and the CCI period 30 is dipping below the zero line this is a bearish a trading setup all right so i'm going to remove my second pitch for two and i will draw a new one one more time stay with me at this time attention please traders there is uh, the price went down from point A. This is a point A. He went down from point A to point B. All right. Now he, he rally up to point C. So we have now one, two, three. The reason why I can do this now is because the price start changing direction here. If it was not changing direction here, I cannot do that. So it start changing direction here. Therefore, one more time. I can place my P for two, placing the media line at the first point, and then extending okay it to the two other lines. So I have this uh, bearish trade line. So talking about uh, we have a bearish trading setup here for KVM Networks Incorporation. This is an American stock which is listed on the Nasdaq 100. All right. 
So if you are trading a technology stock, we need to pay attention to the market leaders of the NASDAQ 100, both Google and Apple stock. All right, so we want to align our strategy with our market leaders, okay? We are trading first the market before, okay, the individual financial industry, in this case, a KVM Network Incorporation. All right, and the market is the S&P 500, and the market leaders are propelling, okay, the market, okay? So if we, if we, we, we receive a clear cut sell signal, which probably is already gone uh, for many traders uh, to manage the trade. Uh, the first target will be on the edge of uh, this uh, pitchfork tool. Here it is. So we'll expect it to come to this pitchfork tool or to pierce through it to come all the way to the lower part of the pitchfork tool and to rally up to the edge of the pitchfork tool if there is a room for it to go down more all right or just one move down here and then you go back up okay all right so if you are looking for bearish trading setup you will look for it on the edge of this uh, pitchfork tool one two three we really do that all right so as i'm Show you here the piece for two. I'm not saying to you that this is exactly what's going to happen, my friend. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither solicitation or offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. At this point in time, all I can say we have a bearish trading setup, a priority to bearish signal below 5970, and there is a support here. At 3815. All right. So, though we have the media of the pitchfork tool, attention to the intersection between this level of $38.15 and the media line of the pitchfork tool right here. Attention to that zone. Or I may drop it down there and find a support and it bounce up instead of coming all the way down. It may find a support also there. Okay. And then maybe going back up completely. All right. Or finding a resistance here uh, before it coming down. All right, it makes sense. It is also powerful. I'm going to remove my piece for two now. Talking about uh, talking about uh, KVM Networks Incorporation. All right, so do not forget fifty nine dollars seventy prior to bell signal below. Uh, there is a support thirty eight dollars fifteen. One more thing, whenever you have two lines like this, you want to pay attention also to the media line, which is at $48.60. All right? So try to place the pitchfork tool as I did now. So you may also know, okay, the possible path, if there will be a bearish move down, if there will be a continuation of this bearish setup, okay, the price probably will remain within the boundary, this, the boundary of the, our, this uh, pitchfork tool, or may be below, okay, the pitchfork tool. Before I wrap it up, one more thing. We're going back again to our first uh, pitchfork tool that we have drawn on our chart. And I want to highlight a few more things uh, relating to the Andrews a Pitchfork tool. Okay, so now we place again our first uh, Pitchfork tool on our chart. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so now we have our first Pitchfork tool. Okay. Oops. Right there. Okay, this is our first piece for tool. So I don't think now we can we are talking about the hot spot trading zone using the piece for tool. We can measure the width of our piece for tool. And because the price out of the piece for tool, we project it in the direction of the price. And then we draw a line that is parallel okay, to the piece for tool. Is it parallel? Will you accept that? Okay, roughly, roughly, roughly. It uh, looks like it is parallel. Hold on, please. Let's check it out here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So then we have, okay, a new channel from the edge here, down here. 
and we want to draw uh, the media line of uh, that uh, new channel so as you can see as the price came out of the top channel okay what we are doing now is a market geometry it's in fact we are projecting the pitchfork tool in the direction of the price so we measure the width for the pitchfork tool and we project in the direction of the price as you can see as the price came out of the the first pitchfork tool it came down to retest the median line of the second pitchfork tool as i'm telling you now that we have a very trading setup here apart from the level of 48 dollars 60 and 38.15 be aware of the media line of uh, this uh, uh, piece for you may come down touch it here all right so i'll be aware of uh, the projection of the first uh, piece for two all right by the way if you want to learn more and master the piece for two trading okay go to www.dprotrader.com or Subscribe to our Day Pro Traders YouTube channel where I'm busy talking about Pitchfork 2. Uh, this is the end of uh, this tutorial about uh, KVM Networks Incorporation and Pitchfork 2 analysis. Uh, but before we go, I want to quickly talk to you about uh, KVM uh, Networks. Uh, it specializes in uh, multicolor networking communication processor. ARM based and uh, MIPS based network processor, video and security processors, and server. If you want to know more about uh, KVM and networks, uh, you need to go to uh, <coughs> Google Finance or Yahoo Finance and uh, check the EPIC CAVM Charlie Alpha Victor Mike. So you may know more about the KVM network. So KVM is also a fabless semiconductor company. What we mean by fabless semiconductor, uh, those are companies that design microchips. But instead of uh, building the microchip themselves, they only design them. Then they will outsource that uh, micro microchip design to other company that will build them for them so they do not have a factory where they build those microchips all they do they they design the microchip and they will outsource the microchip okay to other company so this is what we call a fabless fabless uh, okay uh, a semiconductor uh, company another fabless uh, semiconductor company is marvel uh, technology another nagza hundred okay stock epic m r v l mike romeo victor lima this is the end of this tutorial as always if you have any questions or suggestion all right put it uh, in the comment section and the course I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. Uh, we wish you the very best in your trading. And until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTWSYS008 traders talking about KVM Networks Incorporation and Pitchfork 2 analysis. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.